Greetings. In this video, we'll be discussing about an implantable artificial kidney which is being developed by the University of California, San Francisco to supplement the functioning normal physiological functions of an impaired kidney from a patient uh, suffering from chronic, chronic kidney disease. So, this entire device consists of two chambers. The left chamber is essentially a hemofilter where filtration of the blood takes place. So, the blood enters from the patient's renal artery into this chamber which consists of silicon membranes with microscopic pores or silicon tubules where the filtration takes place. So in this chamber, the blood is got rid of excess water, excess uh, and other components such as toxins, uh, glucose, uh, salts and etc. And from there, the blood goes into the second chamber. Now the second chamber is essentially a cell bioreactor which is also consists of a silicon based microchip which consists of sites for actual living kidney cells <coughs> growing in this uh, growing in this chamber. Now these living kidney cells can be either be collected from the patient himself or from a different donor and then be transplanted into the system. Now the function of the living kidney cells in this chamber is to either uh, uh, reabsorb the different uh, excess water, glucose, the uh, other biomolecules from the blood which is filtered in the first chamber or to perform the role of secretory, secretory cells in the kidney itself. Now, in the first chamber, the filtrate is collected through this red colored duct which is shown here and it passes into the second chamber into the cellular bioreactor and this contains of the excess toxins, uh, excess water, salts and this is going into the urinary bladder for its excretion. Now from the second, uh, second chamber of the cell bioreactor, the duct which consists of the blood returning into the uh, renal vein of the patient as we can see in this assembly, in this diagram. And in this figure, we can actually see the representation of this entire device. Now, this entire assembly weighs about 9 to 10 pounds and might be driven by uh, maybe a 9 volt battery. Now, this entire assembly can be implanted into the patient's uh, system and therefore, a uh, patient suffering from chronic kidney disease might not be able to undergo dialysis and other uh, life supporting uh, activities. And therefore, this device is of immense biomedical application. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video.